Jane was a good book in a comfortable chair overlooking Phillips Lake in Lucerne. Jane was a handwritten note of encouragement to whoever needed it at exactly the time they needed it. It was a very easy relationship that we had. Um, we used to spend hours talking about anything and everything or nothing at all. I used to take pictures of her and, and she was she made me delete most of them. A couple I didn't. I wish I had taken more pictures of the two of us. If I had to describe Jane in one word, I would call her a dynamo. She was just energy. She was just exuberant. And she really raised the bar so that you wanted to do everything you could to achieve what she wanted for you. Jane led us, and she also loved us. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And with Jane, you always knew how much she cared. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Conlon, President and CEO of Bango Savings Bank. I had the pleasure of working with Jane Irving for 17 of the 35 years she worked at Bango Savings Bank. She was more than a colleague. She was family. She was a mentor, friend, teacher, and confidant to many, many employees, and she is sorely missed by all. It's with great pleasure that I announce this evening that going forward, the Bangor Chamber Community Service Award will be named after Jane, the M. Jane Irving Community Service Award. This year's award goes to an institution that has this past year proudly opened the doors to this new state-of-the-art arena and convention center. The Cross Insurance Center is a testament to this institution that has thrived for generations due to the commitment of our very own neighbors to step up as community leaders. It's my honor to announce that this year's winner of the M. Jane Irving Community Service Award is the City of Bangor. As current chair of the Bangor City Council, I call this secret meeting of former mayors of Bangor to order. Seeing we have a quorum, I suggest we get right to business. Seven card stud, follow the queen, lines are 25-50, it's Annie up. So what does everyone think of the new Cross Insurance Center? You know, the development of today comes from seeds planted long, long ago. Remember that uh, fence across from Miller's Restaurant and the Red Lion and that ugly railroad yard down below? Yeah, we got that cleaned up. Now Alex has got those waterfront concerts going on the waterfront. That catch you put on a hell of a show, didn't she? What, just me? Yeah, but the For the Waterfront concerts was the American Folk Festival. And that's going on, what, 13 years now? And before the American Folk Festival was the National Folk Festival. And remember all the work that John Roman did to bring that to Bangor? Yeah. But we had to do something about the old Bangor Auditorium and Civic Center. And give credit to Mike Dyer and the crew for propping it up as long as they did. Hey, where's Norm? Norm Minsky. He said he was going to play cards. This is the luckiest day of my life. You know, hammering out the deal, making sure the cascade of uh, funds from Hollywood Casino was there for the new arena was not an easy task. That's true, Larry, and it was just as hard not to spend the money on something else. Every time we turned around, something came up that we could have spent the money on. Yeah, but we made a resolve. And we stuck with the resolve. And working with Miles, Mark, and Mike. And friends of the center, and the Bangor voters who said yes. So it all come together. Just like we planned it. Well, as the oldest mayor in Bangor, I think we have done very well. Did somebody say the oldest living mayor of Bangor? Now what have I told you kids about playing in here? Get out of here, scram. Hey, Bangor, nice job.